Welcome to lesson three of week four, in which we play with text. And mostly um, it is putting together everything we've learned so far and just trying to be playful. So we play by replacing specific words. So mostly we are going to play with pride words and we are still going to use pride words uh, as we've done before. So uh, let's just get that back up. Um, so we have FH and we can open Pride and Prejudice, and then we have Pride words. That is, then we have the Pride words, and so now we can play. Um, we can replace specific words, we can replace specific letters, we can use the function rand and the array true false to simulate the toss of a fair coin, and that allows us to play by randomly selected, uh, removing and replacing randomly selected words. Okay, let us now do some deliberate word replacements. Um, so we need to loop over a range uh, for all the words in pride words. If the word is equal to Bennett, we will replace a word in new words with clunderclap. So we need a copy of new words one. Uh, so at, at first it's, uh, it's a copy of pride words, but then we put clunderclap instead of Bennett. Um, so we put that equal to it and we uh, do the replacement and then we can actually print new words. And then we see that it's Mr. Clunderclap and Mr. Clunderclap and so on. Um, uh, I am only doing an extract of new words. I don't want to see everything. And I'm also uh, not doing them as a, as a vector. I'm joining them together so that they make one long string. Um, we can also replace the words and and is. So um, let's do that. And let's replace the word and, and let's replace the word is, and see what it looks like now. Uh, so it clunder clap a truth universally acknowledged that a single man possessing an invoice for good fortune must be in want of a wife, however little known the feeling. And we start seeing clunderclaps. We can put in some more. We can replace, for instance, his. We can replace the. And it becomes funnier and funnier as you put in more clunderclaps. But at a certain point, you've replaced too many, and it's not funny anymore. Um, instead of replacing word matches, we can use regular replacements using a range, like uh, from 1 to 5. And then when um, and instead and then we can just say at that point, uh, so when i is one of these values, you replace the word with another word. I'm not going to do that. Um, and you can delete some letters only. So you can do the same sort of game as we're playing here, but just on letters. And for that, you have to go to the original uh, string of the whole file or else you concatenate all the files into one string file, retaining all the spaces as we are doing here. We could also try to um, use random numbers to guide the swaps or deletions. So we can use true, false. Um, and uh, so we will run over all the words. Uh, I will run it over. Uh, pride, uh, rather than pride words, I will run it over um, new words. So for, um, so we'll just use it for a certain number of words. So that's equal to 200. And then um, we will um, say for I in one, two, num words. So now we're going to just 
loop over the first 200 words. And we are going to do a replacement if and here's the test. We use RAND. This is a function that selects randomly from the, uh, the, the collection it's given, in this case an array, and the array contains the values true and false, and so it selects randomly either true or false. So this is like a toss of a completely fair coin. Um, and when that's true, what we will do is we will say that new words one at i is equal to the string clunder clap. And we can put that in end and we can end that. Is, is that exactly what we want to do? Okay, and let's uh, now see what this looks like. One, two, num, words. So now we can see what it looks like, and we see lots of clunder claps all over the place. Um, we could replace fewer with true, false, 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 and then it's true only every fifth word, and that would be randomly suggested. One can really play wonderfully with randomness, and this is just the start. So, that's the playful part, the creative part of what one can do. I'm sorry that I rushed a bit. Um, the one thing that we learned in this lesson is that there is a function called rand and that it selects randomly from the, um, from the, the array of values that it's given. So if we give it a, an array of values that is some true and some false, then it picks uh, randomly one of them and uh, occasionally it picks true and occasionally it, it, it picks false and it picks it in ratio that it occurs in that particular array. So, thank you very much. That's the end of our input and we have, uh, this is the end of, of, of the Julia material in the course, but we have a review lesson four of week four. So please also watch that.